journey started with getting to know the subject of calligraphy for the very first time at the event Califest 2008 conducted by Achyut Pala School of Calligraphy. It was held at JJ School of Arts and I remember it was first of its kind exhibition in India during those times. It was truly truly a mesmerizing feeling for me and looking at the amazing set of artworks displayed at the exhibition and the demonstration of Pala sir himself I got this feeling for the first time I want to do this. I guess that was my moment of epiphany. I had just completed my 10th grade back then. In fact, my parents took me to this exhibition, which I am eternally grateful about. Looking at my interest getting developed in this subject, they not only encouraged me to learn this art form, but also enrolled me to the calligraphy classes of Sri Ram Goswami sir, which was located in the nearby vicinity. and that's where my journey of learning calligraphy actually started later as i pursued my graduation from rachna sansad college of applied arts i have got to know and i learned various new subjects amongst which was also typography and calligraphy in the course of 4 years i happened to think of ideas inclining towards calligraphic executions and it happened to me naturally while learning any particular subject what subconsciously happens to us uh, at a initial stage is we try to um, uh, like adapt and uh, get close to the references we are looking at right that's what we try to achieve at that point in time but it looks like we are copying or replicating uh, but the intention is always trying to achieve the results which are as close as possible to the master's work Of course, that happened with me too. I was really fortunate enough to meet Professor Vinay Sanekar sir in the fourth year of my graduation. He was uh, one of the senior and most respected professors from JJ School of Arts who came as a visiting faculty for us in that particular year. To make the most of this opportunity, I fondly showed him my calligraphy work. While I was expecting to receive compliments from him. He did appreciate my work, but most importantly, he asked me a question, and I must say that changed my entire approach towards calligraphy since then. He asked me, "In your assignments, I could see the influence of the existing works of the master calligraphers. Then, what have you created of your own in this?" Well, I was taken aback, and. It, the question made so sense. It was actually a googly or a yorker that I didn't know how to play. But the question did stay with me for much longer. Since my childhood days, uh, actually I have been very fond of creating greetings uh, for my friends and my family during birthdays or any special occasion. Uh, most of my friends have also treasured it till date. as i learned calligraphy uh, and explored uh, its more styles i happened to create calligraphic festive greetings during those times since sainika sir had asked me a question and it stayed with me for much longer every time i create a festive greeting i happen to think what is unique that i am creating in this i guess that was my another moment of epiphany when i started looking at calligraphy with a new set of thought process while it had a calligraphic expression it also had a strong base of ideation in it i took it as a project uh, or a subject to experiment with the calligraphic forms and eventually it became a wonderful passion project for me and it's still going on it must be somewhere around 2014 that i started creating this uh, calligraphic greeting with new set of thoughts and started putting it on social media my intention was quite clear instead of just writing happy new year or uh, navin varsha cha hardik shubhechha in a particular script or a style i thought calligraphy can be used as more of a visual form to communicate let me share with you my thought process by showing some of my work so you can understand and relate more to it as you see this uh, artwork on the slide it is inspired by a guruji who who was drawing um, a form of swastika on my uh, on the wall of my house during an auspicious occasion 
and it rang a bell. It was my moment of eureka and I was like why can't this be called as calligraphy and I archived it in my thoughts. In this festival I created uh, this uh, greeting as Nutan Varshavinandan which means Happy New Year in Devanagari and I used a medium as kumkum and used my finger as a tool. It does uh, create much a difference and it brings authenticity to the entire um, image. Next, what I created in consecutive years is the uh, greeting of Gudi Padwa again. But as you see, it is um, the letter in Gudi Padwa in a conventional style, but there is a form of Gudi incorporated in it. That made much of a difference and it is still being shared and appreciated by much, many people that I know. Another attempt of the same subject of Gudi Padwa, you can see it is Gudi Padwa Cha Hardik Shubhetsha and it is made as an illustration in the form of the copper vessel that, is, that we put on the top of the Gudi. So even if the subject, uh, the subject remained the same, even in the consecutive years, I tried to experiment with the different forms. Similarly, in the festival of Diwali, I happened to uh, look after the cultural aspects of it and create festive greetings for the same. Let's have a look at it. In this particular art form, uh, you can see the form of Diya being incorporated in the lettering Shubha Dipavali. And you can, you can see it's a visual, it is not just written, it is having a visual of it. And in the consecutive years, there is another attempt of writing Shubha Dipavali as the same lettering but in the form of firecrackers. Right? It is, there are so many aspects that we associate Diwali with. So I just try to incorporate them in the festive greetings. As you see ahead, there are forms of Diya itself in the festive greeting and the words are also Shubha Dipavali. But it is very different from the approach that I had before. So as it is an activity since past 6 to 7 years, my approach, my learning, my understanding went on um, like improving and I created these greetings. Especially in last year when we all were stuck at home due to pandemic. And we couldn't meet, meet each other, uh, our close ones, our friends in this time of pandemic. I thought to create a motion graphics poster for the first time which could bring joy and happiness to people and not let the enthusiasm of Diwali get away. Let's have a look at this motion graphics poster. can see there has been a thoughtful effort made in uh, experimenting with the forms, with the tools, with the mediums, with the compositions and it all had a different message, a different kind of uh, authenticity to share. Similarly, uh, there are a few more greetings I would like to share with you. Like you can see in this greeting of for Independence Day, it's a form of a bird in tricolor and the tool used to draw it is the bird feather. We associate world with freedom, with independence, and it is coming out of the darkness. So it has a multiple layers of ideation, but the execution is very minimal. Just a form of a bird in as a calligraphic stroke in the tricolors drawn with the bird feather. And as you see this one for Makar Sankranti, it's a festival where we exchange sweets and say, uh, so when I couldn't meet anyone in person, I thought I really want to share sweets. So how if I create a lettering using the sweets itself? So I draw this uh, Makar Sankranti for reference and I then arrange this Tilgur in a particular form that it looks authentic. And also because it is a festival of kites, I happen to incorporate the word happy and it has a very wonderful illustration of a kite into it. Similarly, uh, for Pongal, though it is not the language that I am familiar with, I happen to experiment in the uh, Tamil language and give Pongal wishes. Also uh, for the festival of Raksha Bandhan, you can see it is a form of Rakhi and I, it's a sacred thread that strengthens the relationship, the most affectionate relationship I would say. So it's Raksha Bandhan word written itself in the form of Rakhi. And this slide you can see uh, the festival of Eid where we are wishing Eid Mubarak to everyone. It has the aspects of the culture and the practices that they do. So that was another attempt. 
another you can see is the holy the enthusiasm the fun the joy of holy and saying holy hai that feeling like when i'm sharing the visual with you you should not just see the greeting you should hear the greeting you should feel the greeting that has been an honest attempt all the time and that you can feel with the greetings for sure another uh, greeting that you you can see right now is for teachers day when uh, the idea actually there is a good story behind it that i was not able to think of a good idea for teachers day and on the morning of 5th september i happened to think of this one line that the journey from alphabets to typography couldn't have been possible without you which is true absolutely true it came from straight out of my heart and i happened to uh, make this particular greeting similarly uh, along with festive greetings i happened to create a uh, tribute post when we lost someone whom i am very uh, like close to me or i have been admiring them the first one i created is uh, for as a tribute for dr apj abdul kalam when we lost him and it was just two basic strokes uh, which is creating his identity which is having no expressions because is no more and this art was also um, included in the blog uh, which titled top 10 artists who gave tribute to uh, apj abdul kalam from india so that was a, a really a big moment for me when it was nationally appreciated in last year especially we lost so many people and due to pandemic it has created a havoc more than festive greetings i created a tribute post in that year this one in particular was for someone i really admire and look up to dr rahab indori he has been one of my favorite writer and poet and when i heard the news i happened to just calligraph this verse which he has written and while sharing this I also wrote a few lines as if I'm talking to him. I wrote, "Kagaz hi apki peshani aur syahi hi apka lahu. Apke baare mein chand shab main kya bola kahu?" It just came from heart to heart, and there are of course many more of such which you can see on my social media handles. In all these years, it made me more curious to look into the Indian tradition and practices and the rituals that we uh, practice. it also gave me a learning that we do have a huge treasure of scripts and languages but it has not been explored to its best potential along with the calligraphic executions what really made it my style is having a strong base of ideation to it and most importantly i urge looking at calligraphy beyond just the art of beautiful handwriting and looking at it looking at it as a visual language to communicate and connect with the audience yes that's what i feel calligraphy is all about and it it became my way of staying in touch with my people and really creating a good bond of course there have been occasions when i have had tough times coming up with these ideas because it's a recurring event every year it's not easy to work on the same subject subject every time so of course i face challenges coming up with new sort of thoughts also uh, with the set of responsibilities personally or professionally it was difficult to balance to create this uh, particular greeting timing has been the most crucial factor here so uh, most of the times when i thought of an idea it was too late to execute but uh, sometimes i made sure that i will think of an idea prior and create this greetings regardless of what and i will share it in due time because the importance of the greeting will stay if i share it with you on the particular day and in due point in time today if i don't post the message or um, i don't post it uh, on social media i get around 8 to 10 messages from people asking for i am waiting for your post where is it because they really connect to the post more they uh, ask me that i want to share it to my close ones and they wait for uh, sharing my creative itself it it really feels a good satisfaction and i feel this itself is an achievement when people are eagerly waiting for your artwork what else do you need this brought me a huge exposure in the industry and uh, brought me some good opportunities working with uh, the finest advertising agencies brands and clients it also got me opportunities to conduct workshops at prestigious design uh, institutions and my work also got exhibited in various 
exhibitions internationally and nationally. From the point of epiphany to the moment of achievement, my journey completed a full circle exactly 10 years after when I was invited to take a workshop at Califresh 2008. 18, sorry, at the Cali Festival 2018, conducted by Achut Palo School of Calligraphy, again. And it was a wonderful, wonderful feeling for me. Later in 2019, I got to share stage with uh, the masters I have always looked up to. And it was a wonderful moment to be uh, as a panelist at the first National Calligraphy Fest held in Kerala. In this short period of time, I was fortunate enough to get great opportunities, but also it was a byproduct of working with patience and persistence. Amongst a lot of things that I have learned in these years, I would like to share a few key points from this talk. When you create a design, think of the context and not just the content. As an artist, don't feel shy to tell people what you do, but do tell it in a unique way. You will never find time to create something unless you make it a priority. So make sure that you prioritize what you want to do as a subject of your work. Always remember, observation is the key. So keep your eyes wide open all the time. And most importantly, do look for references and inspirations, but create art that defines you.